Hi, do you hope you want? My name is Mr. Fruit, and welcome back to our Sunday series. We didn't have a name for it before, but I've narrowed it down to two or three. So I guess from these, I might just do a Twitter poll. I don't know. We'll go from there. We have the Spun Day series. Because Spin, sun, Spun Day, you guys get it. Then we have Sundays are good for ellipses because it's like Sundays are good for and then you like you know that's kind of the premise there plus it have an interesting acronym segif 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 or spun days are good for we could combine the spun day with that one spun days so we have spun day series Sundays are good for spun days are good for one of those. You guys let me know, but either way, it begins. This is our second episode, but our first real one, if you really want to think about it. And to start these off, I'm going to start with a fan mail because we've received a good bit. And I don't know, I, I put it a couple times up on there, but like if we don't land on it at all this episode, I wouldn't open any. Uh, and then I would never get through these. And quite frankly, I want to open some of these. So let's start off with that. And then we get to the spinning. Or, you know, I could just, uh, by the way, I know it's like super scuffed. And uh, I'm going to figure out the autofocuses. We'll figure this out together. But, uh, whoa, fan mail. You can't see the pointer, but just know whatever's at the top. I'm doing my best. Okay, wow, fan mail. Great, let's start with that. By the way, recently got my boys drip. Got my boy Dado song. You guys don't know Dado. He's a great guy. He's beautiful. He's wonderful. He's kind. He's loving, endearing. His hugs are like liquid gold. Got his dope new sweatshirt. It's like multicolored. This one's embroidered. We got some like synth wave Dado going on here. Yeah, uh, I guess this isn't a plug because these are no longer available. They weren't available. Well, they haven't been available for like a month. But, you know, I just, you know, gotta, gotta lift up and support my dudes, you know? I think he's doing great stuff. He wanted to kill the merch game. And quite frankly, I think he's doing so. So, let's open this one. Okay, well, this one I will hold because it's actually addressed to Olive Fruit. So, I have dogs up on there. So, if we land on it, I guess this is what we'll do for the dogs. I'll, um, I'll open this for them. Another letter addressed to all of an oppa. Starting to think there are people like them more than me. No, I know people like them more than me and I don't blame you. We have here, uh, oof. I don't know what it is, but it's heavy. Um, they, they paid for priority, it's eight pounds. I think they shipped me a cinder block. Um, I did not get a letter opener. I should put that on the wheel, huh? I could just use my giant katana, but that's just asking for me to be injured. So, all right, what do we have in box number? Ooh, cut away, Mr. Fruit, cut away. All right, scissors are closed and put away. You know, I should get safety scissors like you get in a preschool. Okay, and the package contains, oh, oh, no. <gasps> You guys don't know what this is, but I do. Hold on, I'll read the letter. No, okay, I can't. I'm gonna pull these out first. Look at this. Pokemon Adventures 1 Collector's Edition. I didn't even know that was a thing. You guys might be confused, like what in the world? So actually my most recent Nuzlocke on my second channel, I have way too many channels. I was doing a Let's Play on Pokemon Y, but I was talking about how I remember as a kid, there being these like Pokemon manga where the trainer had like a poly poly whirl um and you could like see the pokemon the pokeballs and it was like darker and like pokemon died or whatever and somebody mentioned like oh yeah it's pokemon adventures like oh my gosh yeah so apparently somebody heard that and was like i'll get them all for him and now i have because i've i only ever ever read this one i believe or maybe this one either way we got pokemon adventures one pokemon adventures two collector's edition because it contains volumes four, five, and six. Because, yeah, mind you, like, this is thick. But it doesn't stop there, ladies and gentlemen. We got Pokemon Adventures 3. But it doesn't stop there. We got Pokemon Adventures 5. Holy heckers. 
And it was out of order. That makes sense. Pokemon Adventures 4. I definitely didn't get to any Johto stuff. So that's dope. I don't know. Maybe these are all there are. It went up to five. But looks like I got a bit of reading to do. <coughs> Mr. Fruit. Merry late Christmas. I've been so blessed to have found your chance along. You truly made me a fan of everything you do. I hope to see many more years of content, clothing, and maybe even a video game or two. Trust me. I would like to. If I had the money. Like so many others, your content has been there for me when I've been down or when I need a good laugh. Your channel is such a light to many. I hope you enjoyed these books and please keep making content. Also, I know you asked, so you can share this gift if you decide to. This is from Chris Crescengio or Benjamin Thomas. Thank you very much. I read the little postscript as well. I do appreciate it. And if an opportunity arises, I will let you know. But needless to say, dude, um, thank you. Ugh. Look at all this. I've got a lot of Pokemon manga to catch up on. Oh, God. Because I remember, like, everybody talking about it. And one of these, an Arbok straight up gets sliced in half. And it's, like, killed. Crazy. People are like, that happens in Pokemon? Yeah, dude. That's what I'm saying, dude. These are sick. Like, the, the anime should be based off this stuff. Like, more anime than cartoony and... Well... It is geared towards children. That's the thing. But they should make like a more adult Pokemon thing. That'd be sick. But anyways, this is... Wow. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, it's time to spin that wheel. Or um, we need we need like a phrase like, spin the content. Or if we make the name, I can always just say, Sundays are good for... And then spin the thing. And you'll notice I, I did put the Corgi uh, astronaut thing on uh, on the thing. I think it's it's kind of hard to see, but I like it. And maybe get a separate camera. I don't know. I'm like yelling right now, so this is very strange. Anyway, Sundays are good for... It's literally stuck in between. Not Google and it's not docs. What a way to start. Why is that even how is that even possible? I don't know. I also forgot to add one thing. Gotta add giveaway. If I do right here. Sundays are good for Wow. Well, we ended on fan mail. We'll do something else first so it's not fan mail back to fan mail, but I'll get to this. This is just scuffed, isn't it? The only way to do it, baby. It's cooking! It's time for cooking with Mr. Fruit. I know you all, by the way, the mic's gonna suck, my bad. You've all wanted to see me cook what I get up to, and I gotta tell you, it's pretty insane. And I figured I would show you my world famous breakfast smoothie, because if you've all heard about it, I would have been drinking this every morning for like a year, mainly because I'm a creature of habit. However, it fits into my mic, my micros of macro. <laughs> so I could have like a regular cooking channel and be like overhead and be like, oh, you one scoop of this, one scoop of that. We're not that professional, let's be honest. Uh, so, do you need milk? Doesn't matter what kind of milk. You can use almond milk, you can use soy milk, you can use 1% milk, fat free. I use low fat, because I'm watching my weight. Uh, you're gonna want a measurer, because you need to measure that. And then cinnamon, sugar free syrup, because it has like no calories. It's just for flavor. You're gonna want some chopped almonds. I don't like nuts, but it's all right. You don't get the texture, you get the protein. You're gonna want some, it's like 100% just whole grain oats. You don't want anything crazy or flavored. And then you're gonna want protein powder, which people have always asked, what protein powder do I use? Hey, not sponsored by the way, but feel free to sponsor me. It's Optimum Nutrition's Pro Complete 40 Vanilla Ice Cream, you can't go wrong. But that's what I use. It comes with a whole bunch of branch chain amino acids and all this kind of other stuff. Anyway, it's great, that's what I use. And then I have the Nutribullet, but you can use the Magic Bullet, any smoothie blender thing ever. And that's essentially it. I need to, let me walk you through this. It's a very specific science. 
Get your milk. Get a cup. Measure out a cup, more or less. Boom. Now you want a half a cup. Measure out half a cup, more or less. Boom. Milk. Done. If you're lactose intolerant, I'm sorry. Suck, suck. How could I forget? You also need a banana. And you don't want ripe bananas because they make the consistency really gross and thick. And then you try and chug it down. It's like, you want like not quite ripe, but also not quite moldy or whatever, rotten. Best of all, the puppies love the bananas. So I give them the butts. I right, see. That's your favorite part of the day. Then you just take the rest of the banana. Bop, bop. Sugar free syrup. Super specific. That seems good. Cinnamon. Pop it open. Yep. Why not? Oats. You're gonna want. Half a cup. You do a full cup, but just too much for me. You do half a cup. Get you some good fiber, some good grains, some good carbs. Get your protein powder, whatever is one serving. For me, it's two scoops of this. Bop. Then you want your chopped almonds. You're supposed to get like a tablespoon, whatever. Seems good. Wow, you did it. I'm so proud of you. All I do is skirt, skirt, and then blend. And I won't include this because the auto will be definite. Beautiful, isn't it? And then from here, you can pour it into something, or you could just be Mr. Fruit, and why go the extra step and do more dishes? Just chug this sucker. Uh, after that phenomenal display of cooking, we are moving on to another fan mail opening. I honestly didn't even think we'd land on it, and then of course it's the first thing we spin. And I'm gonna be honest, I, I really appreciate whoever wrapped this, because it looks like how I would wrap something. Whether or not you think that's a good or a bad thing, you know, I'll leave that up to you. It's not a good thing. I'm thinking of maybe like sitting at the table, having a separate camera for the wheel, I don't know. Figure out something, but that way you can also see more of what's going on. Um, again, we're just doing this live, and who knows, like, if you guys enjoy some stuff, we'll make this a long-form series, so it can only improve as time goes. This is this is all just proof of concept currently, so bear with me. So I'll hold it up for ya. Get you some gift wrapping ASMR. Yeah, surprise, it's, a, it's, it's just another box. Well, funny story. That's not really funny. While opening some fan mail, um, I guess a button was pressed or something, and it stopped recording, unbeknownst to me, and you missed a lot. So I'm just gonna have to redo some of them. You'll notice there is now a blank spot. That's because we landed on wife, and she was not happy about that. And sleeping in the doghouse tonight, boys. But in the, uh, the fan mail we got, we got uh, another big old box here. A little bit lighter though. And in it, we got a bowl of fruit, quite literally. It's literally a bowl of fruit. The second time I've gotten this, people just, people love it. I got a pear ornament, which is actually sick. Unfortunately, we just packed up all the holiday stuff and we got an orange ornament that'll be putting up on the tree next year, I reckon. We got everyone's favorite groceries. You got, um, I don't, still don't know what that purple thing is. I think it's supposed to be grapes, but it's kind of terrifying. I think that's a pepper or a cherry or an apple. We got butter, lettuce, croissant, drumstick, pineapple. Everybody's normal grocery list. And then a lot, and I mean a lot of printed pictures of fruit. So, and it's addressed to Hymish Fruit. Just sending some fruit surprises your way. Sincerely, Sean Alfano. Uh, P.S. was supposed to send this to you a year ago, but forgot. Happy holidays. Keep up the good work. But the funny thing is, his mom included the note and said it was actually so, supposed to be sent about two to three years ago. So it doesn't matter when it comes, though. I do appreciate it very much. Thank you for the fruit. That's very canon. That is canon. In the war. 
So, you want to know the worst part too is I have pepper up there and we landed on pepper and I ate a jalapeno pepper. Fresh, raw jalapeno pepper. And quite frankly, I'm not going to do it again. Scout's honor, if we land on it again, I'll do it. But if we don't, I'm not going to do it because you didn't see it. You know what I'm saying? And we just landed on Google, but you didn't see me spin that either. So screw me. Fun day again. We got the hiccups from the, sh the pepper. Uh, oh, Lord. Fan mail again. Seems a little rigged. It's only on there twice. I'm... Swole. Okay. Some people had some suggestions. I mean, this could be a weekly thing if we want. But as some of you know, I take my fitness seriously. I work it all the time. I diet, blah, blah, blah. And I have a home gym now because of the pandemic. I have now for almost a year. And so I figured I'll show you around that. In today's video, I have like, an, I put up like a picture of it on my Twitter, but I'll give you a quick little tour in this video. And then in future ones, if you guys want, I can show workouts or I don't know, maybe tips and tricks or I don't know. Enjoy my home gym. Pump, pump you up. Welcome to my home gym in my garage. You might be like, wow, you're wasting the whole garage. It's a tandem garage. So this is just the extra part. Most importantly, I had to get this uh, little space here because this ball's cold. Colorado, middle of winter. I didn't think it would be that bad. I even insulated these. Yeah, no, it's bad. So, uh, I got all this stuff around March when quarantine just started again, which is lucky because then everything started getting sold out. And I got a lot of this stuff on sale. I got this half rack platform. Uh, the combo it was like 50% off on Amazon when I got it. Uh, it's dope because it's all in one. It's not a cage, so you have the freedom to come out and do like deadlifts or whatever you want. Platform's nice to make it more steady. Uh, you got all the different pull-ups and uh, chin-ups and all the different variations you could possibly want. Uh, the weights, you had to get separately in the barbell. But this alone is, I had this for the first like six or seven months, pretty much exclusively by itself. And you can still do almost everything you want to do. Uh, you can even, there's like little bars you can slide in here to do like uh, dips and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, but that was the most important inclusion. And then I had the adjustable bench the whole time. Uh, but most recently, uh, I got this edition, which is very nice. I like it a lot. It's the cable machine. Uh, I got this about a month and a half ago. Setup was terrible. And if the cable's ever messed up, I don't know what else I'm gonna do because I'm not taking that thing apart again. Uh, but this is really nice because then combined with the free weights and everything I can do on that as well as the dumbbells, there's like literally almost no workout I can't do unless it is only achievable by like a machine. And even then I can kind of improvise. Uh, so this is what I've been working out in for the past you know, year. Um, there's this cool thing. My dad actually got these for Christmas. They're, they're pretty cheap. They're called the kettle grip. Uh, this is nice because instead of needing separate kettleballs, you just take this apart, put a dumbbell in there, and then latch it together. And then you have a kettleball grip and you can use any dumbbell. So it's a lot easier than having to get those separate. So that's a little home gym hack, whatever if you need it. Uh, then we got some resistance bands, mats, so I can get my physical therapy, stretches, warm ups, warm downs. And then, of course, my boy, Ultra Instinct Goku. By the way, that was a pain to put on it. It's like a giant sticker. And then I have a whole bunch more posters I'm supposed to be putting up. I have like 20 or 30 different motivational ones. The first one I had to get, of course, my boy Arnold. So I can always look at him and feel inferior. But as stupid as motivation posters are, they also kind of help. And also, it's so barren in here. And then I did get these mirrors too off Amazon. And those have been a big help. Uh, yeah, overall, I just jumped on a lot of this stuff early. Got a lot of it on sale, which helped. And all I can say is people are like, oh, it's not worth it. You're just gonna be back in the gym eventually. Well, now, if I ever need to work out at home, I can and I have everything. And then on top of that, just for my mental health, physical health for the past year this has been huge and to me it was completely worth the investment uh, but at the end of the day anything can help even just dumbbells you can do a whole bunch of dumbbells uh, but yeah that's 
that's my home gym. Who doesn't love some genuine good time, building testosterone, and, and the hibbing and the bopping, and... All right, I did not think this was gonna happen, but this was a highly requested wheel option. So, context, uh, they want me to order from Applebee's and try the food, because Applebee's is a meme across the channel. And fun fact, I've actually never eaten anything from Applebee's, ever. So now I'm going to, while I'm on a diet. I'm only gonna try little, little bits here and there. It's early in the morning currently, so I guess I'm gonna wait until later into the day Around lunchtime, I guess. Gonna order me some Applebee's. See what all the hype's about. Maybe we'll get the two for 22. Ladies and gentlemen, I have fast forwarded in time. It was like a video game. I said, you know, set time to lunchtime. Here we are. And wouldn't you know it. Right, we got ourselves some Applebee's. After all this meme, I got it for the first time. Now, I'll tell you, I did get the two for 22, which is odd because once upon a time, it was two for 20. Then inflation, two for 22, except then it says varying prices for your region. And for me, it was a two for 25.99. Kind of feel cheated, but it is a good amount of food. You get one appetizer, two entrees, and apparently my wife added fries as a side. So we've got ourselves some fries to try. These are critical. They're not good. You know, that that's a, that's a big hit. Fiesta lime chicken gonna be honest i didn't even know what i was getting myself into i just know that i've heard of this so i was like all right well i guess i'll give it a shot it looks interesting i still don't know what exactly i'm looking at here but i'll give it a shot our appetizer of choice was the buffalo wings people seem to like them and on top of that i'm gonna be comparing them to chili's um boneless wings because i really like chili's boneless wings so we'll see how it stacks up and the wife appears to have gotten some sort of a cheeseburger. The cheese part is gross, but um, so it seems like a pretty regular hamburger. I'll give that a shot as well. Get ready for a little muk mukbang, mukbang. All right, first up on the docket, we have ourselves the boneless wings. All right, here we have one uncoated additional, you know, I, like I got additional sauce, but I haven't coated it. This is as default. There's going to be some pretty dry ones lacking a little bit of sauce. I'm not going to lie, Chili's does it too, so it's not a big surprise. They're completely hit or miss. Okay. So far, not bad. Sauce is pretty mild. Not really spicy. But breading's not too crunchy. For delivery, it's still pretty warm. I'll give them that. Chicken's pretty juicy. Not the best boneless wings I've ever had, but also, I don't regret it. Now, I'm going to take the extra sauce in a wing. Give it a little extra dipperoni. We got sauce on sauce. Not bad. I think I prefer the sauce of chilies, but I would almost say the boneless wings here seem like, for the most part, there's more chicken than breading at some points. I don't know. Overall, I think this is this was a good batch of wings. I might just finish those after this video, even though it is not none of this is a part of my diet. Well, then next up, we have the French fries. They are your typical French fry. I mean, it's nothing crazy. Uh, looks covered in a bit of salt, pepper, nothing crazy. Not too crunchy, but not chewy. It, it treads that middle ground. You know, I'd relate them very closely to like Wendy's fries. And they taste a little bit different. It must be the seasoning. I would try them with ketchup too. But at that point, I'm just tasting ketchup, so. Okay. Fries aren't bad. I don't know if they do like loaded fries or something. Because Chili's loaded fries about give me a, a heart attack and, you know, I'm going to clog up all my arteries. But delicious. I don't know if they have that. But the regular fries, sure. Yeah, I'm down. Next up, I guess I'll do the burger first because my wife's waiting to eat. Now, I don't know if she changed anything about this. I'm not sure she did, but here you go. Looks like we got your basic patty, cheese, onions, tomato, lettuce. Maybe some under the lettuce. Nope. Appears to be buttered bun. The uh, the edge of the bun, a little bit burnt, but not in the inside. That's that's always a good sign. The patty is pretty thick. Um, only problem is I don't like onions or cheese. So I'll let her put those back on.
So, the patties cooked well. I'll give them that. Bun's not bad. I'd like it to be a little, little toasted a little bit more. I kind of like my burgers. Burger buns at least have a little bit of crunch. Um, the thing is, it's just kind of bland. There's no sauce on it. It only came with ketchup. And that didn't even come. I think it was for the fries. It didn't even come in this burger's packaging or whatever. I don't know if she took sauce off. I don't I don't think she did, but there's there's no sauce. And as far as I can tell, that's why it had to take a second bite, because honestly, the meat didn't have a distinct taste. Could just be this burger. Could be the fact that there's no sauce. All right, let me go give this to my wife so she doesn't get hangry. After further evaluation, I can't tell if that was some sort of butter. It felt more like grease slash oil on that burger, which is bizarre. It's all over the bun. But who knows? Maybe she'll like it. And then last up, we have the Fiesta Lime Chicken. You guys want to see what that... See, I can't tell. It almost seems like there's like tortilla chips behind it. And there appears to be some kind of a sauce. I mean, I obviously see cheese. But there's something else there. And these are definitely like tiny little tortilla chip uh, shreddings below it. You know, I'll eat it genuinely. I'll squeeze the lime. Squeeze that all over the top. Mm-hmm. If you ever use one of these, you know the pain I'm about to go through. Will not be easy. All right. Our first bite. We got some chicken. A little tortilla strip. Some rice. Pico on it. Chicken seems to be cooked well. A lot of flavor. The little tortilla chip is subtle but noticeable. A little crunch. Kind of hits you in waves. You taste the rice a little bit more later on. But initially, just whatever it's marinated in. This is pretty good. I have no idea how bad this is for me. It cannot be good. It's chicken, but chicken's cooked well, though. Easy to chew. Might be a little dry, but there's so much going on, you couldn't even tell. I think that about does it. Now, quickly, I'm going to Google how many calories this Fiesta Lime chicken thing has, because I'm kind of scared to figure it out. 1,110 calories. Put that in perspective, that's about, what, three-fifths of what I'm allowed to eat the entire day. But, I mean, to be fair, if you're eating out or whatever, I mean, that's probably a bit on par. I mean, I didn't expect to eat here with healthy food or whatever. But the chicken's good. The chicken's good. The buffalo wings, I'd eat them. Not my favorite, but they're not bad. And the burger, yeah, I wouldn't really order the burger again. Just up to me. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The meme is dead. I can officially say I've eaten at Applebee's, and I got the two for 22. And not that bad. Not that bad. Pleasantly surprised. Who knows about the rest of the menu? But not terrible. I'm already getting gassy. Oh, and also, quick disclaimer. A lot of people had some good ideas, but don't quite under... Like, some people are like, um, do a series or do a video like this. The, the point is, I'm able to do whatever it is in this video you know like it's something doable right now not like long form or like start a new let's play you know something like that does that make sense and it doesn't have to be challenges like i, I think i literally maybe i forgot to i put up like a brown somebody's like i should just do that you know so anyway stupid mike i need a lavalier mike man well screw me huh looks like i gotta go Outside. Yeah, my eyes. Yeah, I mean, graphics are a little better than I remember, but yeah, player progression sucks. I'm going back inside. Okay, we landed on fan mail earlier, but I didn't want to just be fan mail back to back, so I'm gonna do that fan mail now. Cue the part where I. I spun fan mail so they know. We got the hiccups from the, sh the pepper. Uh, oh lord, fan mail again! I think packages make for the most interesting, but we do have a lot of letters I can also open. So this one is... Um, priority mail today, thank you very much. I'm, s I'm so glad you think I'm worth a two-day shipping. Everybody says, wow, would you guys look at that? This is the package. I thought I took away the paper and I was like, wow, it's literally just a piece of paper. But then I realized there's another cardboard box below it. It blended in for a second. 
Dear Mr. Fruit, Happy New Year. Hope you had a great Christmas as well. I've been watching since the beginning of the Dream Team. I remember looking up a video of Thorn and found your trials videos in Hawkmoon. <laughs> How's the Hawkmoon, Rob? Been addicted to watching, listening to GG Easy while I play Destiny. Heard you talk about Ghost of Tsushima on a podcast. Sadly, I haven't played the game or gotten time to watch your video about the game. I got the chance to buy a limited edition Ghost of Tsushima soundtrack vinyl to resell. I resell sneakers. And decided to buy an extra gift to you. Now, I doubt you have a record player since you're not a boomer, but this could make some great wall art for your tavern or even to put on the mantle. Feel free to show these off on stream podcast or video. Okay, well, it's a good thing. I, I should probably read that first, huh? Thank you from Marcus Winters. His Twitter at or Instagram at one of those is VII Winters. Thank you very much. I hope that shoe reselling game is going well. I know some people in that thing, and it, it's a crazy world out there. It's, it's a hustle. I know that. But check this out. The funny thing too is I actually go to sleep to this soundtrack quite often because it's that good. Oh, look at it. Unknowingly, you absolutely killed this dude. I couldn't be happier right now. This is, I'm literally gonna get a vinyl record so I can play this. I don't just wanna hang it up. Can't wait to listen. I guess I know what I gotta order next. Thank you very much, Marcus. That is sick. I need, when I'm sitting down, it's less dramatic. I gotta... Oh, this was highly requested one. Everybody wanted this. They wanted some loving from the dogs. Give me a second. First, I said I would open this package addressed to them. Oh, ho, ho. Looks like we got some treats. I can't say it too well, otherwise I'm gonna freak out. Bocce's Bakery Krispies. Peanut butter and blueberry recipe. Three calories per treat. That's pretty good. Happy holidays, all of, and enjoy. P.S. Mr. Fruit gets none because he doesn't make you your own channel, let alone put you in enough videos. From Kijon Washington Moore. Thank you very much. You didn't include Appa though, which is old mean, but it should be fair. Uh, I still haven't even done a dedicated video to Appa. I did when we got Olive, but Appa was a problem child. That's a whole other story. Um, so maybe I will eventually, but you'll get to see him in a second if you haven't seen Appa. Anyway, we do have two corgis now, so I will split these, but I'll forget a little bit more. Don't worry. Looks like Forbidden. Looks like Forbidden Captain Crunch or something. Here we have dog number one, Appa. Our tricolored corgi. He's a troublemaker. My treat. My treat. Oh yeah. Oh, he loves the blueberry. Hi, buddy. Here we have Olive. Hello. Hello. She wants a treat. She loves her food. Good girl. She's a little chunkier. Ugh. And those are my little poopies. I love them. And with that, I think that will conclude our First, really official entry into the Spun Day series. Uh, Sunday is good for Spun Day is good for series. Whatever we're going to call it. Again, I'll probably do a Twitter poll. So if you don't already follow me at Mr. Fruit YT. Twitter, if you want to give me the normal Mr. Fruit at any point, that'd be great. It's been deactive for like a super long time. But whatever, you know, it's, it's whatever. I don't care. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Thanks to everybody for the fan mail for sending it. If you want to send some fan mail to possibly be opened. Um, there's a description or in the description rather is my PO box and with that let me know what you guys think on the series and more importantly feel free to include some suggestions for the next one or future wheels might even do a Twitter post for that too to have it be a little more concise or all in one place doesn't really matter though let me know what you guys think love the feedback but most importantly I love you all with that said I want to thank you all much for watching happy souls fantastic I'll talk to you in the next one very well